Ah uh, yeah, hello and welcome to the first video on my channel. My name is Don Chaviaka Maxi King Six, and today my guest is uh, Monolithic Bacon. Hey -o. Yeah, and there were a lot of requests um, by people asking me how I did the trailers for my map Lemberg and Bacon's map Viesma, and uh, the tool I used for this these videos is able to be found in the world builder up right here. And IS is the letters we're going to keep busy with today. And Bacon, do you have an idea what the NIS stands for? No, I'm I'm here as a an absolute rookie. I've never known how to work this tool. Yeah, um the N stands for non, the I stands for interactive, and the S stands for sequence, um, which um, creates non-interactive sequence. And the name says it all, uh, Relic used it to produce the cutscenes in front uh, or before the campaign missions. And I obviously used them for creating the videos I created. And what we're going to do today is explaining basic infantry movement in this tool. So, what do you want me to do? Right, to show shall you? we have um, shall we have a conscript uh, sure. walking down the street? Mm -hmm. and then okay. try and get him to kneel down at the end of it. That's that's a decent idea, so we're just um, going for it. Um, the tool is located up here, as I already showed you. And we're going to press it, and uh, yeah, everything's grayed out so far. So what we're going to do first is going for this file, and new, creating a new file, because that's a separate file, it's not connected to the other files of your map. Um, frames per second, 30 is okay, which makes us deal with the most detail, and 30 seconds should be alright for our soldier to do some basic movements. So the fire is created, uh, two things uh, have to be done before you can actually make infantry moves. So you're going to press the auto key, key and the place and right click, which makes us able to place anything you want from the file browser below. So, um... You wanted me to take a conscript, right? Yeah, sure. Um, we're going for armies, obviously Soviet, um, soldiers, conscript. Make sure to use the ABP file because that's the right one to use. There are some other files as well, but we have to stick with the ABP. What I should probably point out here as well is that um, something that I do know about it is that everything that you place in this mode is a separate entity. Yeah, it's a separate entity and has nothing to do with the entities placed in the regular object placement tool. So, um, that means that um, if you place a conscript, for example, and you want him to move around these groves around here, these trees, it would just move through them and in order to avoid that you should uh, right, uh, either um, edit the path of the, of the soldier moving around here or, um, actually that is the only option possible to make him avoid these trees. But the idea is as well, don't try and use the object placement tool to place units and then use the NIST tool to move them. Exactly. You'll have to place all the units individually from the NIST tool itself. Mm -hmm. And these can be found in the file browser, which is quite obvious. And yeah, I'm just going to place this conscript works as the usual object placement just by right clicking and there he, go there he is. Um, because we want him to move down this road obviously this map is under construction um, there will be some videos about it at another time but not yet um, to make him move down this road he's facing totally the wrong direction so we have two basic keys for the movement that you might want to use. One is the M key um, switching from the rotation mode to the movement mode. The movement mode is activated right now and because we want to rotate our soldier right now just press the R key. Um, this is the horizontal mode so we're just going to turn him in order to make him face the end of the road. This looks about right. Yeah, close enough. Okay, and um, yeah, walking you said, right? Yeah. Okay, so just have to calculate some point 
Well, the speed is about right to make him end. Must be... 10 seconds? 10 seconds by 30 keyframes per second. 300. And because we um, set the auto key mode on, on it automatically um, creates keyframes in the timeline. Now the timeline is vital for um, making infantry move and everything else that you do. It's basically a movie maker. I don't know if someone of you worked with them before, have you? No, I've used movie maker, yeah. So you uh, causally know what keyframes are. For. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see that in a minute. We're just using this um, for a start. So the time is set as 300. Um, our soldier is at zero at this point. And make it 300 again and press M to move him and move him up here. So what you can see right now that the soldier is floating. Do you have any idea how to get rid of that? <laughs> well usually you'd use uh, adjust to terrain. Yeah there's um a box you can take snap to terrain. What now obviously has um, yeah reset uh, the position of our soldier, but you can see this purple curve that me moving the soldier created is now adjusted to the terrain. And we're going back to zero again, and we can take a look at our entity moving. What? Yeah, that's a gliding conscript. Hmm. Can you see anything wrong about it? <laughs> <laughs> yep, the fact that his legs aren't moving. And? Uh, he's not looking around and he's just gliding across the floor. Okay. Um, do you want to get rid of that? Yeah. Okay, so this is where the timeline and the animations come in. So we have all these folders with cameras and actions and animations and whatever you want to s want to have in but um, cameras are going to be shown later in another tutorial this time we're going for actors because obviously this is a movie maker and the conscripts are actor go for animation and we're at zero currently which is this part of the timeline Select this keyframe and press the insert key in order to open this dialog which uh, makes you able to yeah, just grab events or states or variables for the soldier. Um, any idea how to make a move? How to find the fitting animation for a soldier to move? Well I know this now because we're cheating, this isn't our first take. Um, <laughs> so moving is locomotion. Exactly. Press on it and it'll show up here. So the locomotion animation right now is stand stop. This is why the soldier didn't do anything. We are going to change it to stand slow, which means walking. There's obviously some other states as well. For example, stand medium for running and stand fast for fast running. And stand very fast for very fast running. <laughs> and we're going to make him kneel at the end, but that comes later. First of all, we're going to make him walk. You can also make him prone or crouch. So stand slow it is. Press update and you see stand slow is up here. Reset everything by pressing this key and now soldiers slowly moving. He's got a proper swagger to him. I love that. <laughs> but you can see he doesn't start properly and doesn't finish properly. No, I imagine with the name Locomotion you should expect that he moves almost like a vehicle. He goes from slow to start off with, gets faster and then slows down towards the exactly. end. Exactly, and this is why infantry movement has to be edited in a very special way. So this is a bit complicated, I suggest you guys watching this part again after I show it to you. Um, I'm going to select our soldier again by left clicking him and then press the space bar which shows up a dialog keyframe edit so we just have two keyframes so far one at the beginning and one at the end this is for the positions um, so if you want to see it in the timeline position rotation animation for a soldier 
Um, for example, if we select the positions, we have keyframes in the beginning and we have keyframes in the end, show, showed by the red parts of it. Just this as a side notice and minimize this again. It's uh, somewhere hidden here. What you want to do now is to get rid of the acceleration and deceleration. So select these um, tiny bits underneath the soldier. Um, go to type and what you see now is in tangent and out tangent. This means how the soldier goes into the keyframe and exits the keyframe. Um, to make him move normally, go for out tangent is linear. So he just makes a usual linear movement rather than a vehicle locomotion. Yeah. Save this by clicking OK. Select the other keyframe and select type again and in tangent linear. You can leave the other one as you want. Um, if you want to move him, uh, make him move further, just go for linear as well. Yeah. And this is it. You'll see how it all changed now. I move back to normal by pressing the spacebar again. Um, reset this by pressing the um, to the front key, and now he's moving properly, like he should. <laughs> Look at those hips. Mm. <laughs> Catwalk. That is. This is now he stops in an awkward way because the animation that's. Um, the current animation at the point 300 where our soldier stops is, if we have a look at it, um, wait a sec, there is none. So we want to make him stop and kneel, right? Yep. Okay, just um, select the keyframe shortly before the end. Might go for 290. Yeah, that's correct. Select the keyframe and press insert again. Then search for locomotion. I get it. You can just type it with your keyboard and press it. And now we're going to call the state kneel stop. Oh, oops. Update again. Minimize uh, timeline and go to the front. So we can watch him walking properly now, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Gets me every time. Mm, shake your hips, buddy. So now, in the end, he'll just kneel. And then poses. And then poses. <laughs> it's a great thing. Actually, he doesn't belong in the Red Army. Okay, um, any more questions regarding infantry movement? Uh, I suppose one of the other things we should definitely look at before we go is uh, how to get them to walk around objects. Ah, yeah, I wanted to show that as well. So, um, to make our little catwalk model, uh, walk around some object, we're just going to select one we find around here. Again, the point from before is that if you place any object in front of it from the object placement tool, he will still walk right through it. Exactly, even using these. So, um,. We're just going uh, to edit his path in a minute. Um, what kind of object do you fancy for uh, blocking his way? Let's go out uh, uh, for a burnt out truck. Alright, so we're going for environment, object, and then on it's all the same path. You guys should know it. Vehicles, civilian, and burnt delivery truck. Just place it somewhere in the middle. This looks about right. Yeah. Um, just move it slightly out of the way so he doesn't really um, have to go through the ditch. Uh, yeah. Now we have this part of the timeline which makes us able to uh, jump between yeah, the keyframes between the times. So this is the point where the soldier collides with the truck. And we're just going to make him just move him out of the way of this truck by dragging the movement approximately to here. You see the path has been adjusted 
And now what we're going to have a look at soon is the rotation of the soldier. Um, if it looks right when he walks um, side of a truck. Check it first. Obviously he's walking sidewards. Shouldn't be the case. Look from above. No. It's not too bad for no. this path, but just this bit. There's some dramatic parts, I suppose, if you had really tight corners where it would look completely wrong if someone's sidestepping everything. It's almost perfectly aligning to the route, but we might change the rotation in the beginning just to make it look a little better. Looks okay for you? Yep, yeah, that's good. Alright. So reset the camera by double pressing um, backspace. Backspace, right? And yeah, going to have a look at it. Now, doesn't this look fancy? Oh yeah! Ah, uh, there he is again. <laughs> <laughs> Which thoughts this little bugger must have now, being in the war? What's up with his knee? Oh, bless him. <laughs> He's breakdancing. He's <laughs> happens sometimes. But we're assuming at this point that if you're using it for footage, you would have already cut by now. Exactly. And you just saw all the objects disappearing. That's because our um, this footage ended at the point of 900 frames, because we have 30 seconds. 30 seconds and 30 frames per second makes 900 in the end. So. We're going to have a look at this one more time before we end this video, just to make sure that everything looks right. Didn't make any flaws. No! But then again, third time's the charm. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is perfect. Kneeling down and starting to pose again. Yeah. So right, this is it for today. Next time we're going to show you how to make a soldier use the weapons. Yep, absolutely right. And, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yep, see you soon.